For decades now, America's evangelical Christians have been vigorously promoting their faith, taking it into the mainstream of society and politics. The country's atheists and agnostics have increasingly felt pushed to the margins, but now they're fighting back, trying to make their views just as widely known. The non-believers recently gathered in Houston for the annual Texas Free Thought Convention, where the star attraction was Christopher Hitchens, straight from his hospital bed and ready to throw a few more verbal hand grenades, despite what appears to be a terminal illness. David Brill was there. I don't I believe in God because there's absolutely no evidence for him. Thank you. Here Thank we you. go again. Thank you. One, 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 one more. The religions that that endorse him are ridiculous. I mean, we're pretty open and friendly and pretty tolerant of all kinds of folks. Looking better? I don't know if there's any supreme being or not. I've never seen any evidence for it, so that's why I call myself an atheist. <laughs> they have come to hear the word against God, and there are plenty of preachers. There's no reason for us to follow the rigid guidelines that Christianity has dumped on us. Religion does not deserve respect. And this is, here we go, we make this conference feel like that. At this convention center in downtown Houston, a new yeah, brand of atheism has been offered up. We're moral, we're just as good as you are, and that's it, quit saying it. <laughs> These are daring views here in the Christian heartland of Texas. We're here, we're proud, and we ain't going away. And our worldview is just as important as the, the Sunday afternoon preachers that we have the floor. So we want to make Nick Lee is the president of the Atheist Alliance of America. Now imagine you're sitting here in Houston, Texas, in the heart of Rick Perry country. <laughs> Can you believe that? And, and we are sitting here in defiance of, of all of that environment. Rick Perry is the governor of Texas. His highly evangelical beliefs have been widely reported. We pray for our nation's leaders, Lord, for parents, for, for pastors, for the generals, for governors, that you would inspire them. I would not have been active as an atheist uh, if, if I had not moved to Texas. And I discovered after my career of moving around the world, living in various places, even in the United States, uh, it, where I never felt the, the oppression of religion, when I moved to Texas, I did feel it. And that's Lee is frustrated that religion is even enshrined in the law here. And the Texas state constitution is that there shall be no religious test for, for holder of public office as long as he believes in a, a higher supreme being. <laughs> if anybody stepped forward, any candidate stepped forward in Texas and ran on an atheist uh, uh, platform, they, they would have no chance of getting voted dog catcher. <laughs> The star attractions of this year's gathering are the movement's great defenders, Christopher Hitchens and Richard Dawkins. The increasingly frail yet undiminished Hitchens is here to receive the Three Thinker of the Year Award. He has inspired and energised and encouraged us. His very character has become an outstanding and unmistakable symbol of the honesty and dignity of atheism. This is an extremely rare public appearance for Hitchens, who was diagnosed with stage four cancer last year. Now, some of you know, but I guess you all know now. I'm not as I was. Um, At a point in life when many people look to religion for solace, the concept of belief continues to rile Hitchens. The realisation that comes to one often that religion and the human need to worship, 
the need to abase ourselves, I would sometimes say. The sadomasochistic impulse is unfortunately deplorably strong. Many people would make the trade of security for freedom, thinking that they would get at least one, and don't learn that they will end up with neither. And Hitchin's sharp critique hasn't weakened in any way. If Jesus wasn't the son of God, he was a hideous, wicked imposter, whose words were vain and empty and intended to deceive. Hey, thank you very much for being here. No, don't thank me. It's very nice of you to have me. Despite or maybe because of his illness, Hitchens continues to write prolifically. Last month, he released a massive collection of essays, and for some, his work has had a profound impact. I've read all of your books, and you have changed my life, and that of my three children. Really? And absolutely. No, absolutely, I mean it. I've listened to all your books, and I just can't say that. I think I should. Well, it makes my day anyway if you say that. Thank you. How do you feel when you hear things like this, Christopher? Your protest speech. Well, I tend to say to people that I believe they would have got there themselves. I wasn't. Which I think they would. You write the way other people breathe. That's <laughs> true. So, what do you think of all this? Oh, this is uh, incredible. Uh, I'm actually come from an evangelical family. I'm the only atheist in the household. So this helps me get away for a little while and be around some like-minded people and get away from the crosses and Bibles all over the house. While they're preaching to the converted here, both Hitchens and Dawkins have been criticized elsewhere for their blind faith in their own opinions. Bring it on. <laughs> but they remain undeterred. I don't give a damn for anybody's opinion. I only care about the facts. So I'm not an enthusiast for diversity of opinion where factual matters are concerned. I'm against the uh, propagation of outdated, rather unimaginative ideas about the world, which are so much less exciting, so much less enthralling, so much less thrilling than the truth. I'm against religion that teaches people to be satisfied with non-explanations for things when in the 21st century we have extremely good explanations and we're getting better ones. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hitchens is keen to pass on these good explanations to a new generation. Like this eight-year-old girl who wanted to know what book she should read. Yeah, there's a, an author called Robert Graves who isn't, wouldn't be far out of her reach, I don't think. There's a wonderful tales of Greek and Roman mythology. Actually, the Greek stuff is pretty good. Um, I've, I've already read those. You've read all of them? Yes. <laughs> this is getting worse and worse. <laughs> She's floored me twice now. This is like the rabbis confronting Jesus outside the temple, you know. Well, I was eager to make, um, meet famous free thinkers and yes. because I want to grow up to be a free thinker. My mom says I'm not, but I already am. I really wish you well, Vis. It's, you're well. I wish there were more like you. Actually, what would we do if there were to me? Lots of love. Take it easy. Remember the love bit also. David Brill reporting there. And it may have been difficult to recognise Christopher Hitchens. He was a very regular commentator on Australian television. If his health holds out, Hitchens is scheduled to appear at the Global Atheist Conference being held in Melbourne next year.